Hey there guys, thanks for joining me today as we're taking another look at SE Toolbox, the Space Engineers Toolbox. This incredible tool is used for editing your save game files in Space Engineers. And one of the nice capabilities of this tool is to add asteroids into your existing game. And this is actually quite simple, however I've had quite a few questions of how to do this exactly, so I'd like to show you. I'm currently in a empty world here, there's nothing around me but empty space and a standard sky box. Now what I'm going to do is add in an asteroid and just to show you how that works exactly. I'm currently in the safe and I can open that in the Space Engineers Toolbox. Simply by going to File and then Open. And this is my save game. SE Toolbox Asteroids is what I've called my save. So opening this up will bring up nothing at all. That's because this uh, map is completely empty. The only thing in it is the character, which is me, the player, and the distance to this object is zero meters of course you can see here some uh, some information that you can do uh, changing the color of my suit light jetpack positioning health etc but that's not what we're here for we're going to add an asteroid so I go to import and I click on asteroid and then I get a little pop-up that allows me to either add one of the stock asteroids that's already in the game uh, or I can add a file myself and basically the way this works is if you have a 3D image, a 3D file um, suggestively made with 3D Studio Max, then you'll be able to import that as an ast asteroid. But I don't have any of these, so I'm just going to go with a stock asteroid. And here you have a whole list of different presets that are already in the game. Uh, let's just pick something nice. Let's go with Junkyard Toxic. So you can see this is 128 by 128 by 128. So that's height, width and depth. Now you can set what kind of um, material you want this to be. We'll just say stone. You click on create and here you have it's added into the game. Uh, it's currently 185 meters away from the player. I'll just leave it there at, at that location. But you can, if you want, adjust the location right here. Uh, and I'll show you something about that later on. So I go to file, I click save and it's currently saved. Now obviously I'm still in the old save game so nothing has changed. So I'm going to press F5 quick load into the new world and voila here we have an asteroid how simple was that right this is this is incredibly simple and the model of this asteroid is the one that we just pasted into the game so I'm gonna show you this world again it, this was the junkyard toxic 12 I'm gonna add another junkyard toxic 12 this time we'll say we want it to be uranium or uraninite, uraninite, whatever. Um, this is currently in the same location. We don't want that. So we're going to have to move this over a little bit. Shall we just place it above it? Okay, well, oh, we'll place it above it. So I'll put it at zero. Y is the height. Quick load. And we should have an asteroid right above our own. Oh, it's actually clipped inside because I didn't take it up far enough. But yeah, this does show you how you can make your own models by merging together asteroids. Now these are still two separate models. You can see the top one is completely black because that's the Uraninite. And here you can see how it is merged together. So let's say I wanted to make a track with these or put these in nice locations. I could just Alt-Tab and say, oh, I want this 50 higher. Uh, no, actually, let's put it back at minus, what was it? Minus 67, but we just want it a little bit further to the side instead, so we'll say minus 100. Click on save, reload into the game, and now I'm inside of it. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, can I get out? No, I can't get out. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, oopsie. Uh, that's, that's, I'm so sorry. Let's redo that. Hopefully it's not clipping inside of me now. Oh, still clipping inside of me. Oh, and I click delete. All right, no worries. We'll just add it again. Make it silver this time. Oh, how about we make it gold? Gold is nice, right? And we'll put this at zero. Save. Reload. 
And here is our golden nugget. Look at that beauty. So yeah, you can do this to any of your games. If you have a, a map that you're playing in and you've used all of the asteroids or you know, you're, you're looking for a, a specific asteroid, you can just open the Space Engineers toolbox and add one in. Now you can also make uh, asteroid fields if you don't want to add in uh, asteroids one by one. You can go into, let's have a look here, uh, create, generate asteroid field and it'll ask you, okay, what do you want to do? Uh, you can add a random, but let's not do that. Let's just click on add and let's say, okay, what asteroid do I want? I want a bio research. What material do you want? What's the second material? How much uh, percent is what? So we can just say, okay, we want 50% of the first material, um, etc., etc., etc. Well, you can just go on for five materials in total. Let's add a couple of uh, different stuff here. This is me just clicking random stuff. And we click create. It's going to take a while and puya, it puts these in all different locations. Click on save. And yeah, you can add as many of these as you'd like, right? As, as much as your computer can, can uh, yeah, allows and handle. And let's see, where are they? Um, there's one down there. Yeah, they're, they're quite far away from each other. There's one up there, one there in the background. One there behind the golden nugget. So yeah, that is as simple as it is. And then if you decide that you've gotten sick of them, just delete them and they're gone. So there is one more thing I want to explain to you about the uh, Space Engineer Toolbox because that is a really cool other thing. You know, this is actually something that you could do in Minecraft already. You can create tiles uh, based on an image. So when you click on import and you click on image, you can select one of the images on your computer. I'll just navigate to my thumbnail folder um, and click on one. Let's click on this Borderlands 2 beauty. Uh, the original width, so this is, this is important because um, of the size of the image. You don't want to go for a full size image because it will just take too much space up. Let me just make sure I get this right. Um, There we go. So this is going to be 200 blocks uh, wide and 120 blocks high. I'm going for a small ship type because that means we have smaller blocks. And voila, it is created. Click on save, reload. This might actually take a little longer because it needs to load all of the blocks in. But here we are already. And look at this. How incredible is this? The things you can do with this are amazing. You can make this as small as you want, but it will end up being more blurry, of course. But it is impressive, isn't it? It is well impressive. Anyway, I hope that this helps you learn a little bit more about the Space Engineers Toolbox. It is an incredibly easy tool to use. You can use this for fixing up things. If um, you have some item in here that you can't find or one of those cargo units that for some reason has spawned far away and it's not despawning, you can just delete them. Or if you want to make sure that something is set to no speed, you can just repair its speed and put it at nothing uh, or the or the damage, etc. It's very good, very easy, and uh, yeah, I hope this helps you uh, create your own asteroids. Thanks for watching and see you next time.